Okay, so Junior Roberts here with realjuniorroberts.com. In this video, we're looking at a question on moments. So let's get into it. So here, the first thing they say in this question is they want us to define the moment of a force. Alright, so we're going to say that this is the turning effect of a body of a body about a point due to a force acting perpendicular to the body to the body at some distance from the point. Alright, so it's the turning effect of a body about a point due to a force that is acting perpendicular to the body at some distance away from this same point. Okay, now in our next question it says we are to state the principle of moments. So we can write that for a system in equilibrium the sum of the clockwise moments moments about a point is equal to the sum of the anticlockwise moments moments about the same point. Alright, so the principle of moments says that for a system that is in equilibrium, the sum of the clockwise moments about any point on the body is equal to the sum of the anti-clockwise moments about the same point on that body. So if we continue, we see here it says here that a cyclist hangs his bicycle with the rear wheel in contact with the ground and the handle attached to a light string as shown in figure 4. The entire assembly is in equilibrium. Right? And we're going to pay close attention to this word right here. Equilibrium. Alright? Now, if we go to our question now, it says, Indicate by drawing arrows on figure 8 the forces acting on the bicycle. So, what we have is we have our bicycle like this, and it is resting on the ground here, right? So, since this bicycle is resting on the ground, there, at this point of contact, there is going to be a force. And that force would be the force produced by the ground on the bicycle wheel. And we will call that force our reaction force. And the reaction force will be acting up like this because it's the force that will be exerted by the ground onto the bicycle wheel. So it's going to be an upward force, known as the reaction force, and we can call that R, right, or reaction force. Also, we're indicated at this point, the center of gravity, right, and we know the center of gravity is the point along which the weight of this object will act, because the center of gravity of an object is the point on the body where all the weight of the object acts, right? So therefore, at this point, we're going to have the weight acting at this point, and we can call that W, right? Because the weight always acts in the direction of gravity. Now, we can also consider that, okay, we have our bicycle being supported by this string, right? So we're going to have a force in this direction along the string, referred to as the tension in the string. So these are our three forces. The reaction force, which is the force that the ground exerts on the bicycle wheel. 
the weight which acts through the center of gravity and the tensional force uh, acting along the string. Now our next question here says write two equations relating these forces. Now since we are told that the system is in equilibrium we can consider two situations. Right? The first situation we're going to consider is that the sum of the clockwise moments must equal to the sum of the anti-clockwise moments. Right? And we can write an equation which says that, okay, first of all, before we can actually consider this completely, we have to identify our pivot. Right? So we have to identify the point on the system in which uh, the system will turn. Now, since we have our bicycle resting on the ground right here, right, what we can point out is that the pivot, right, in other words, the point where this bicycle will be able to turn will be at this point right here, right? So the bicycle will turn about this point. So if we were to cut this string, we're going to see that this bicycle will fall, and in other words, it will actually turn about this point. So this point right here would be our pivot right so this point here where the bicycle we touches the ground is our pivot so we can consider moments about this point this point now because the reaction force is acting at the pivot it produces no turning effect so the turning effect would be due to the weight acting at this distance and the tension acting at this distance Right? So we're going to say our clockwise moment should be due to the weight of the bicycle. So we're going to say W times this distance, which is 0 0.8 meters, is equal to the tension multiplied by the distance that the tension is acting from the pivot, which is 1.75 meters. So that's our first equation. The next equation we can write is that the sum of the upward forces equal sum of the downward force. So we can say sum of up forces equal sum of the down forces. Right? And we get that in this case, the up forces would be the reaction force, the tension, and the downward force would be just the weight. So we're going to say now that R plus T is equal to W. Right, and these would be our two equations that we can write relating these forces, which we would have drawn on our diagram earlier. Now, if we continue, it says here, the bicycle has a mass of 20 kg, and we are to use the result we obtained in part C to determine the tension in the string. So in this case, we are given the mass, right? So, so we are given the mass. Right, and we're also given that acceleration due to gravity is 10 meter per second squared. Now, if we look back at our equations, we see that we have these two equations. Right, in this equation right here, we have our reaction force, which is an unknown. We have our tension, which is an unknown. And we have our weight, which is unknown, but we can actually calculate it by considering the mass. While this equation now, we only have the weight as the unknown and the tension as the unknown. And we can actually calculate the weight by considering the mass and acceleration due to gravity. So we're going to be considering this equation to help us to solve our problem. So let us first calculate the weight. So we're going to say weight W is equal to mass multiplied by gravity. In this case, the mass is 20 kilograms. So we're going to say 20 kilogram multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity, which is 10 meter per second squared now, if we take our calculator, we say 20 times 10, we're going to get 200 newton. So that's the weight of the bicycle. Now, we know that the sum of the clockwise moments must equal to the sum of the anti-clockwise moments if this system is to be in equilibrium. Right? So now, we can say, okay, since this is in equilibrium, we expect that the clockwise moments about any point to be equal to the anti-clockwise moments about that same point. Right? And we say that this is our pivot right here. And we're saying that the weight of the bicycle will produce a clockwise moment 
because it's going to cause the bicycle to turn in the direction of the hands of a clock, just like this, while our tension will produce an anti-clockwise moment because it's going to cause the bicycle to turn opposite to the hands of the clock about the pivot right here. So now we're going to say that W times the distance from which the uh, weight acts, which is 0 0.8 meters, is equal to the tension multiplied by the distance from which the tension acts, which is 1.75 meter. So we say 1.75 meters. Now we just calculated W and we got 200 newton, so we're going to say 200 newton multiplied by 0 0.8 is equal to T times 1.75 meters. 1.75 meters. Now, if we take our calculator, right, and we say 200 multiplied by 0 0.8, we say 200 times 0 0.8, we get 160 newton meter, meter, and that is equal to T times 1.75 meters. Now, in order for us to find D, find T, we can simply divide both sides by 1. 0.75 meters divided by 1.75 meters. When we do so, we're going to see that T, which is the tension, is equal to 160 divided by 1.75 meters. And when we do so, we get 91.43 newtons. And that would be our final answer. So again, Junior Roberts here with realjunioroberts.com. If there are any questions, please post them below in comments and I'll do my best to clear up any misconceptions for you. Share this if it was helpful and thank you for watching.